Jet isn't really the best to start with. I honestly just started right, left to right. I know they had difficulty stars, but I mean, like, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> to be honest. It's all good. We have to do all of them eventually. I know what's up. Gun! I also know that in this game, everyone has guns. Or arms. But, um, because, again, I technically touched this game. Like, I'll remember little things. I'll remember little things about the game. Like, I'll be like, like, nothing about the story. I feel like, if anything, the story's the thing I remember the least. Like, maybe some things will be like, oh, yeah, I vaguely remember this bit. Again, I don't even know if I finished this game. I might have not finished this game, for all I know. I was, like, 13 when I played this. But I do know that everyone uses arms. Like, they all have guns, which is not normal, because in Wild Arms 1, only Rudy has arms, and in 2, Brad and Ashley have arms. Those nets should be strong enough to support me. Oh, you can, like, okay, climbing under, climbing nets like this? Pretty cool. Now hoist yourself up, press the X button, edge of the net. Cool, cool. Oh, this reminds me of some kind of Crash Bandicoot nonsense. I like it. Dude, I'm excited for the dungeons because Wild Arms 1 and 2 had great dungeons. Wild Arms 1 had great dungeons, 2 had even better dungeons. Now that they're on the PS2, they can go crazy with uh, gimmicks like this. That was pretty sick. They can go crazy with dungeons now. Mini Carrot. So does this game also not have MP, I guess? This is like Wild Arms 2. Force points is your MP. I, can, I honestly like that. But yeah, because they're on the PS2, they can go crazy. Oh, ow. What's happening? I got stuck. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they can go crazy with dungeons. Because of the more powerful hardware. Also, just being a fully 3D game. Die, ah, you weird-looking jellyfish. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like a jellyfish. A weird one, though. I don't know what vitality means. It, it, it just healed me. It, like, went down and my health went up. I don't know what that was about. Jet, can you climb any faster? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing here? Is there, like, a switch I have to hit? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's another thing over there. I didn't even see that. Cell shading also made the game stand more the test of time. Yeah, I agree. Cell shading just ages a lot better. This game came out in 2002, which I'm going to be honest with you. I thought it was like 2003 or 4. But no, this is like a really... This is like a year after... Oh, these are from Wild Arms 2. Obtaining dimly glowing life shards known as gems. You can replenish... Oh, they replenish vitality. But what does vitality do? But gems replenish ECN gauge, which governs how many encounters you can avoid. Interesting. Each gem affects the pro gauge of all fun events. Nice. All right. That's cool. I like that. But, um, what was I saying? I thought this game was a little later in the PS2 life cycle, but it came out, like, a year after Final Fantasy X. Because Final Fantasy X is 2001. I think the PS2 came out, like, either late 2000 or early 2001. It had to have. This game is a very, it's a relative, it's a very early PS2 game, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting like around Symphonia time, like 2003, 2004. Get wrecked. All oh, level up, let's go. By the way, I saw Jet skills. Jet is the one with Accelerator, it seems. So I guess Jet is the fast character. Which I mean, with a name like Jet, you would expect that. Whoops, you have to be at the very end for that. Nice. Vitality heals you after fights. Okay, interesting. That's cool. They have to do this. Oop. Don't mind if I do. I'm grabbing this chest. Another heal berry. I haven't used a single one. Oh, these heal my ECN. Nice. I honestly kind of like that they, uh, I honestly don't mind the ECN gauge. Because that kind of 
That forces me to not abuse the encounter skip system. I honestly don't mind it. Encounter skipping is such a... It's a game mechanic that's really ahead of its time. It should be in more games. Thank you. More ECN. Interesting. These are definitely traps. I gotta run this. Yup. Grab these two. Two revive fruits and then Gimmel coin. Gim Gimmel coins let you save the game anywhere you please. Oh, so they don't have the retry system. Gimmel coins let you save. I'm fine with that. I only got one game over in Wild Arms 2. They also allow you to start a battle. Oh no, they do allow you. Okay, they are the same as Wild Arms 2. Gimmel coins are hard to come by, are very handy. In Wild Arms 2, I only used one of them. Ideal time to use the Gimmel Coins when you find one in the treasure chest. Nice. I was gonna say, I thought it was slightly different, but nah. Letting you save anywhere is neat, though. You scared me. I thought you were a monster. Nah, I ain't here to hurt you either. I have other plans, although I'm not sure my... I'm not so sure my source is reliable. What are you? Wait, are you a drifter? Words. Were you hired to find me and take me back? So you're the one everyone's making a fuss about. Don't worry, I have no intention at all to take you back against your will. I'm just here for the treasure. Um, excuse me. Hey, hello. I thought I already told you I'm just here for the treasure. Is it the crystal flower you're looking for? Why, you know something? Yeah, that thing's pretty famous. Everyone from these parts knows about it. So where is it? Tell me everything you know. Well, uh, I have no idea where it is now, but... Where is it? Where it is now? What do you mean by that? Exactly what it sounds like. Well, like I said, the Legend of the Crystal Flower is really famous. I think it was just the other day that a drifter girl came here and took it. Damn, someone beat me to it. Or maybe I was just duped by my informant. That's too bad. I hear there's nothing worthwhile left in these ruins. And everyone says the ruins... The, this ruin is unstable. So if there isn't anything here for you, it's best that you leave now. Now let me ask you. What are you doing here if you know how dangerous the place will be? I'm here looking for treasure just like you. But this is a treasure only I know about. Yo, I think something's coming. Yeah, I think I got something too. This isn't the time. Either you help me out or run away. Now, which is it? Sorry, neither. That wasn't an option. The illusion of choice, I guess, is at play. I've come here for my treasure and I'm not leaving without it. I won't be able to survive in a faraway place if I don't take this with me. It's a sentimental treasure that reminds me of this land where I grew up. You can get as sentimental as you want, but that's none of my concern. I don't think this sucker cares from it much either. Oh, boss time? Hello. Kodzol Worm. Easy dodge. Also, confirmations on the audio. Does it sound okay? Does it sound too loud, too quiet? Can I be heard okay? It looks fine. I lowered it a bit because someone said the sound effects spike a bit. more or less fine like the game could be heard i could be heard i don't want another wild arms 2 incident <laughs> get wrecked accelerator yes performs the commanded selected at the start of the turn continuously perform shoot attack Wait, why can i i don't have enough of that Why can't I do Gatling? It's 25. Man, I'm doing fine. I don't really need Accelerator. I'm already hitting first. Now I'm not. You're gonna heal yourself here? Yeah, 70. I think I hit you like two or three times, so that's fine. Oh, this is scripted. It regenerated. Audio's great. Thank you, thank you. 
Fine, this time I'm gonna make you eat bullets before you get the chance to heal. Deck can use the force ability accelerated by expending 25 FP. Accelerator raises your metabolism temporarily, allowing you to act first. Now I can use Gatling. Oh, this costs 40. That makes a lot of sense. I do Accelerator here. That's clearly what they want me to do. I'll destroy you. Accelerator was enough to just finish the job. A dragon fossil! Is that an Aerodactyl? What kind of fossil Pokemon did I get? Thanks to you, I was able to find my treasure. But it looks like you've ended up empty-handed. This looks like something I can destroy with a bomb, but I don't have any bombs on me. That door looks so fake, like you have no idea. Huh? Gimmo coins are great for I need to turn the game off and do something important. Oh yeah, absolutely. If anything, I'm gonna use Gimmo coins for that purpose alone. Like if I'm in a dungeon and have to end my stream or something, that'll be very helpful. In Wild Arms 2, I only got one game over and the game over was honestly just a little bit of bad luck against the Flame Knight because he spammed like his really strong move. <laughs> and I only ended up using one Gimmo coin. Wait, no, that's not true. I got a game over when I encountered Vincefeld's ghost. But I mean, like, of course I'm gonna get a game over from, like, one of the super bosses. Damn it. All this trouble, and yet I'm getting nothing out of it. Hey, you alright? That last battle must have shaken things up a bit. By the way, about the treasure you dug up. Oh, here. It probably doesn't even compare to what you usually charge. Is that a baseball? It's all junk. This ain't something you'd risk your life over. You don't have to get so mad. I said it wasn't worth much. These are all toys from my childhood. They're my fond memories of growing up here. We used to play in this ruin before it got infested by monsters. As a child, I thought every moment would last forever. But as time went by, I grew up and now I'm an adult. I only have a week left before I go away to a faraway land at work. That means I only have one week left of my childhood. To tell you the truth, I'm scared to death. Would I be able to adapt to an unknown place? Moreover, would I be able to stay true to who I am? I'm scared I won't be true to myself. That's why I want... That's why I want to take with me the memories of who I am now, so I won't forget. Could you adjust my mic a little bit? There we go. That should be a lot better. That's something I'll never understand. I don't have any memories I want to hold on to. That's why I'm a drifter. I'm free as a bird to fly wherever I want. I have no worries. Maybe except for my income. I can't pay you or offer you any treasure, but I can help you get out of here. You know this room well? Oh, there's the door that I thought needed a bomb. Turns out there's just a secret switch. Although it's not so secret. I told you I used to play here. It's a bit dangerous, but we can make it out of, out of here through this door. Hurry, we don't have time. Ba, 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 na, 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 na. Oh, climbing to do? Hey, can I not? What's this? Nothing. Okay, yeah, you go this one first. A little misleading, but sure. Ba, 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 bum, bum. Then I gotta jump this way? No, I won't be able to reach that. There's no way. Oh, go this way. Then I can jump here. Climb this one. And then go up this one. I mean, this encounter. Die? Shot right in the face. As far as I'm concerned, you only have a head. <laughs> bum, bum, level up for Jet.
interesting design choice that it has your playtime counter in the bottom left corner. Not many games do that. I think I'd be willing to say not a game that I can recall has ever done that. I'm gonna wanna jump down this and then hit that switch. Oh, but I'm not high enough. Interesting. I gotta do this from like a different a different out a different height. That's interesting. Wouldn't be wild arms if it wasn't straight forward. Or if it was straight forward, it wouldn't be wild arms. Oh, wait, I didn't even see that switch. That switch really blends in. This one, these switches, like, <laughs> I hardly recognize them. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, just like the hurl knife, you gotta let it fall. Good. Sounds like it settled down. It wouldn't do me any good if I died here, even if I did find my memories. Just like this ruin, don't memories eventually crumble and fade away? Why is he so passionate about it? But we have no time to waste. Come on, let's hurry. My ticket will be useless if I miss the train. You're taking a train? I didn't know there was a station around here. If there isn't, the closest station from here would probably take me about five days on foot. It'll take me another day by train to reach my destination. Even though I have a week left before I start work, today's the only day I have to pack everything. That's why I don't have time. Why don't you leave after? Why don't you leave later? Speaking of trains, there's supposedly one transporting a great treasure. Because of that, there's a strict screening of all passengers for every single train. I was really lucky to get a ticket under these circumstances, all thanks to the villagers. Well, we gotta get out of here fast. Yeah, that's right. This is interesting, though. Because we're, the, the characters, like, in the beginning, they meet up, and it's like, oh, hey, choose your prologue, how they all got here. That's very, that's a unique approach compared to the first two games. In the first two games, it's just like you play as all of them, and then they eventually meet up. But in this game, it's like, oh, yeah, see how it all happens. See how they all meet up. I guess they're all going to end at the train, and then it's like, oh, after all four stories, the, the story goes on. It's an interesting way to do the whole, like, character introduction dynamic that Wild Arms is known for since the first two games. It's different, which is nice. It's really fresh. Whew, alright. I don't know what I would have done if the device was broken. Looks like we'll make it out okay. This door leads to the main hall. We're almost there. Good. By the time, can you tell me... By the way, can you tell me more about the train in detail? The one transporting the treasure? Sure, but why? I doubt you'll be able to get a ticket. Let's just say it'll be my reward for saving you. Don't worry about the ticket, I'll think of something you'll sneak on. Okay, deal. I'll tell you more once we make it out. But seriously, thanks a lot. I never imagined I'd be able to experience something so exciting on my last day here. This is a memory we'll share forever. Memory? What's this? Or what this? Words, rather? English is so hard. <laughs> Afterwards, Jet looked into that train Pike talked about. He managed to jump on board and waited for an opportunity to infiltrate. A sudden impact and the chaos that ensued gave him the perfect chance to break in. With the treasure in plain sight, this was where he would encounter three strangers. Were they friend or foe? The darkness that opened up before him seemed endless, as if obscured by the world's future. The train Jet had boarded was still making its way through the long, endless tunnel. Alright, so I guess that's the end of Jet's prologue.
guess I'll continue playing. Um, I've only been playing for 40 minutes. I know Virginia's is the easiest, but I want to go... I mean, yeah, actually, let's do Virginia's next. We can mix it up. I'll just do Virginia's and get it out of the way. 